What's up, folks? Welcome to the 81st episode of Tales from the Archive here on Handle Arbor Games. My name is Zach from Another Letdown Media and the Adjacent Hex Podcast. I will be your host this evening. Tales from the Archive is the show where we use this, the medium of Sentinels of the Multiverse, the digital game, to tell a story of some kind. Some will be tales from the actual Sentinel storylines, and others will be totally original and or based on previous work. For consistency's sake, I do try to match each story up with an existing Sentinel Comics book title that has been mentioned previously by either Christopher or Adam, or both. But by no means does that make these real or official canon or anything like that. You can kind of think of this as the Earth-603 Sentinels of the Multiverse. There will often be times where I deliberately make a play that does not make a whole lot of sense strategically or play under some bizarre stipulation because that contributes in some way to the narrative I've created. I will do my best to try and win games, but even heroes fall sometimes, and that just makes for fun, interesting, and exciting stories. As with all the shows, both here on the uh, both here on the Handle Arbor Games channel, as well as the Another Letdown channel, we believe in civil rights for absolutely everyone and in being as inclusive as possible. So any comments or activity actively working against that goal are not welcome and will not be tolerated. So, without any more delay, let's open ye oldie book of the multiverse and get this party started. So, welcome to the 81st episode. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Uh, I know it's a little bit... Uh, or I, I've been told it's a little bit of a bigger deal here in the States than it probably should be. Uh, and frankly, most of the time, I tend to just kind of ignore it um, because I feel bad not really knowing a whole lot about the history and relevance of St. Patrick. Uh, that said, having just recently been to Ireland, uh, and the fact that my stream is actually on the holiday this year, uh, I couldn't let it go past without getting up to some kind of shenanigans here on Tales from the Archive. Just yesterday, John and Jeremy announced that Oblivion will be officially released on Tuesday, which of course means the uh, that next week will be the long-awaited, long-promised Guys Kills the Multiverse episode. Uh, and I pro So I promise we won't be getting up to any Guys shenanigans this week, because we'll inevitably be doing that next week. Um, so I thought to myself, what can we do that doesn't involve Guys, but still has a little bit of a St. Patrick's Day vibe going? Um... Excuse me. <laughs> um, and the answer, of course, was to compile a list of the most green superheroes and villain, or no, not villains. I scratched that. Uh, I changed my mind when I was writing this. And monkey around with them this week. Uh, much like last week, I just found a, uh, a group of superheroes that either use green or are green in some way, like physically green, or uh, just are environmentally oriented in some way, um, and and just sort of found a story that works with that. So I found a story that uh, I always thought was actually from the Argent Adept main book. Turns out it's actually from Tempest's book. Uh, just happens to heavily feature uh, both the Argent Adept and Akash Thria. Um, the book was published as part of a Moments Peace bit during the Oblivion uh, run, uh, so that the writers could A, get caught up, and B, so that the fans... Uh, apparently, when they started the Oblivion stuff, the fans were very confused. Um, they didn't really... They didn't have a solid grasp of what was going on. So the, the editors were like, okay, pump the brakes, take a couple of months, do some one-shots, really explain why these characters that were formerly villains um, are, are now acting as heroes. So um, this story uh, not only features... Uh, Akash 3, but it also features Stuntman. Um, uh, although it's mostly just Argent Adept and Tempest following her, uh, just w sort of wandering around doing stuff. Um, so we've, uh, and uh, we actually don't get any communication whatsoever from Akash 3, uh, but she's doing Void stuff, so that's that's interesting. Um, we find Argent Adept and Tempest walking through the woods, uh, or, or, woods of the Nexus of the Void, following behind Akash Thria as she plods around the island, examining everything from birds to flowers and everything in between. This conflict has taken quite a toll on my people. Tempest pushes some branches out of the way, holding them for Argent Adept. Don't get me wrong. We were, you were right to bring her back, but she's doing good work. But no matter what we do to improve this situation, it doesn't help stop my people from being scared. They're just settling into their new home, and all of a sudden this colossal disaster takes me away from the rebuilding effort. The timing couldn't be worse. Anthony ducks as a low-flying bird swoops over his head. If that's the case, Mac, why aren't you on Plav Plavukul right now? I can certainly handle keeping an eye on Akash 3 and myself, and I'm sure Michael can't be too far off. True enough, but what if something happens? 
I mean, sure, we're in a moment's peace from Scion attacks, but even if Wager Master shows up, we're in a heat of heap of trouble. Argent out of size. Don't jinx it. Akash Threa stops and looks upward. A massive shadow begins to materialize over the over the island. Oh no. So, there's not a whole lot of dialogue, mostly just a bunch of fights in this one shot. Um, and that first fight is uh, is no joke. It's actually Omnitron uh, over the Nexus of the Void with Argent Adept, Tempest, Naturalist, and Akash Threa. Um, whole bunch of stuff I haven't seen yet. I've not played much in the Nexus of the Void. I've played a little. Uh, I haven't... I've played a couple of games with Akash Threa, and I still don't have a good handle on her. And as per usual, I still don't have a flying clue what I'm doing with Argent Adept. So um, I did pick a couple of other heroes that I recognize pretty solidly. That's Tempest and, and Naturalist. Um, so the story's to story today is a one-shot called Conservation of Energy. Or a, a one-shot. It's it's part of an ongoing story, but it's just like a one, one-off, I guess is... Uh, more more accurate. Um, so yeah, so welcome everybody to this the eighty first episode. Let's get a, let's get this going. It was a bit of a weird battle, but uh, you guys will see, you all will see uh, why I did it this way later. Hey, Team Orchid. Um, not, not so much of a story this week as just a, here's a green team, they're hanging out of the Nexus of the Void, they're wandering around following Akash Threa, uh, as she's just woken up. Uh, this is sort of a moment's peace during the, um, during the Oblivion conflict. Uh, it, it was written by Sentinel Comics editors to sort of explain why their villains turned hero, uh, as well as to sort of illustrate what they can do. Uh, it was really, uh, the writers sort of got behind and they needed a, a month or so to, to catch up. So it's just a mid-Oblivion intermission thing. Argent Adept has Instrumental Conjuration, Rhapsody of Vigor, Sherzo of Fla Frost and Flame, and Ver Vernal Sonata. Tempest has Aquatic Correspondence, Cleansing Downpour, Genebound Shackles, and Shielding Winds. Uh, the Naturalist has Bestial Shift, Abrace of the Predator's Eye, and Threatening Stomp. Akash Threa, who we've not seen on this show before, so I'll probably go pretty slowly with her. Has Creeping Mold, One with the Land, Strangly Roots, and Verdant Explosion. Uh, Akash Threa has 50 hit points, which is absurd in my mind, but the biomes are a lot like Irish weather. <laughs> that happens, Team Market. I, I actually, my router did similar stuff when I it just, like, I hit the go live button and my router started acting funny. So I actually was a little bit late starting today, but uh, there you are. All right, so here's Omnitron. Omnitron flips immediately. Plays Disintegration Ray. And an Interpolation Beam. Okay. Both things that are going to die if we deal damage. So that's nice. Um, disintegration Ray. That's at the start of the villain turn, so we don't care. Uh, every time someone draws a card, they take a point of damage. We haven't taken anything, so I'm not super duper worried about that right now. Hey, RPD! Uh, in in spirit of my traditional welcomes, hi, uh, Cytosine, Gen Agro, Team Orchid, Sonvar, and RPD. Nice of you to join us. This is the first first five names I see. Five names. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Ish. Um, instrumentals not bad. That said, uh, that's not helpful. I mean. Uh, Shurzo just seems fine, so we can start getting to that threshold of getting rid of the components. It's two points of damage, which is fine. It's not perfect, but yeah, we'll still draw a card here. Uh, Saraband is actually pretty nice. So that's fine, we'll take the, take the lumps off of that. Um, cat hair in my mouth. Uh, Genebound is perfectly fine here. Uh, aquatic Correspondence was also, would also be a consideration to just get cards in hand, but I feel like uh, I mean, Omnitron's always going to be the highest, so as long as Genebound Shackle sticks, that'll be useful. I'm gonna go with that. Hit him for three. Oh, the music is cool. Well done, Jean-Marc. Alright, cool. And we'll take the lumps off of that. No big deal. Um, threatening. 
I mean, okay, so threatening would get rid of these. So would Predator's Eye, though. And... That increases damage from everybody. Which is pretty good. And Bastille Shift is just... Yeah, Team Orchid, I'm, I'm not going to disagree with you. Oh, right. Because we don't have the... Hmm. So actually, that's probably... It's probably more worth it to just play Threatening Stomp then. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, there we go. I'm so used to having the Crocodile out that... Uh, based on what I've got in hand, this is what's coming out too. I'm so used to having the Crocodile out that I just forget that it's not there. Okay, so... Her thing is she's got these Primordial Seeds... Um, two of which I have in my hand. Put a primordial seed from your hand or trash into the environment trash. Draw a card. Into the right, and then the when it comes in off the top of the environment deck, they get like added bonus or something. So this is going to be a learning process. Uh, we are only going to see her in, in round one here. I, I will spoil that much, um, but yeah. Um. That, that's fair, Sonvar. So what do we got? Hmm. Wonder the land is kind of nice. Why is she fighting against Therathians? That just seems... Oh, right, because it's a Kosh 3 it's not a Kosh Buddha. So she can go off-world. Badly, I suppose, but... Okay, there you go. Uh, so Creeping Mold, when this card is played from the... Yeah, actually, that's really nice. Strangling Roots when it's played from the environment deck. Um, so I'd rather put Creeping Mold in the in from the environment trash. Those are all, they're not like Unity's bots where they can only be played from weird shenanigans. Oh, I forgot that Pokemon Mystery Dungeon even existed, Team Orchid. That's a good game. Uh, destroy all other... Hold on. Whenever a target is dealt melee damage, deal one tar fire damage at the end of the environment till... Okay. So it's just burning. Burning. Cheats in the earth with the wrath. Yeah. Okay. Our electromagnetic railgun. And disintegration ray. Fine. She continues to not be able to do anything because of all the shenanigans we are... Or he... Spoiling things. It. Um, this has draw a card on it, so I kind of like that. Um, although having Saraband up is pretty nice too, just in case there's gets to a situation where we can't mitigate that. Uh, in this case, I know we can mitigate that, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, we've got Melodies for Days. So if we got one that does two Melodies, that would be... Uh, actually, so the drum is a good consideration. The pipes are actually probably the right one here. Uh, cause what I, all I've got is melodies in hand right now, so we'll we'll do that. Oh, we did we did draw a harmony. That's fine. Um, unfortunately, we only got one in play right now. So there you go. Take that, you jerk. So that's two down. Uh, we didn't get the thing that deals us damage when you draw stuff, so that's fine. Uh, I think we're going to co Aquatic Correspondence here um, because we need cards. Like, Cleansing Downpour is fine. Uh, it's good to have, but, like, I'm just going to be using the Squall over it at the moment. So, I, yeah, Chain Lightning is a good draw. Shielding Wind's fine. And Hailstorm is actually what we were looking for there. So this is good. Yeah, exactly, Team Orchid. I mean, it's, it's purely based on what's in, in hand at the moment, but... Um, so we're going to do Predator's Eye. Increase damage to Omnitron. No, we're not going to draw a card. We're going to deal him five damage. Um, this is melee damage, so... Oh, wow. Ember Dunes is kind of nice. It's gonna cra Ember Dunes is going to crack back, also using Predator's Eye. That's quite nice. 
That's quite nice. Um, so we could bite. And it's melee damage again, so... Oh, taking advantage of the Ember Dunes. Look at that. Nexus of the Void, not happy with Omnitron. Primal Charge is a good draw. Um, so Rapid Growth. Shuffle the Environment Trash into the Environment Deck. Discard up to six. Uh, this is Toxic Damage, so it's... That's actually pretty good. Oh, I mean, we'll take Rapid Growth, and it's, what, a uh, number of cards. So, I mean, she's at 49. Which is like, we can definitely take that that hit. Primordial Tree. Put it into play. Shuffle your deck. Discard any number of Primordial Seeds. Uh, or destroy any Primordial Seeds. So that's fine. What does the Primordial Tree do? This card may regain hit points above its max. Oh my goodness! Okay, start of each start of your turn, each hero may use a power. Whoa! Oh jeepers! At the end of your turn, this card gains two hit points and up. Wow! That's pretty nice. Um, I think I'd rather wait until I have some seeds in play though, before I do rapid growth. Um. That's really good. Especially if he gets some bots out. Yeah, I, I, Orchid, I, I think you're right. I think there's there's things to wait for here. Um, if there was, so this this is like Unity's bots in, in so much as it has to be cheated into play. So I'll use the power to get that into the bin. We can go ahead and do Strangling Roots here. Um, oops. No, oh, no, 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 sorry, it's Verdant Explosion that would get the tree. Um, so I could Rapid Growth, that would be fine. Uh, although I love this depiction of the mobile defense platform. I think I'm just going to go strangling, strangling Roots here. Not as exciting, but um, but it's fine. And we got another thorn, and we got two more thorns. That's not nothing. Does the thorns do damage on its own? Oh, it's destroy it. So, okay, when it's destroyed, it deals... Okay, all right, that's interesting. Yeah, that's that's a good point, Sonmar. Nice job. Yep. Did not notice that, but yeah, you're right. That's that's pretty, pretty solid. I'm gonna take the damage here off Ember Dune, off of Ember Dunes. Ember Dunes. There we go. Not Ember Dunes. Uh, okay, <laughs> interpolation beam again. Fine. And it's immediately destroyed. That's nice. Oh, so there's go. There goes the pipes and the shackles. That's fine. So Omnitron's got nothing, but we did draw Arcane Cadence, which is really nice. What does Void Slave do? Immune to melee and projectile damage. Whenever an ongoing card enters play, discard the top card of the environment deck. If the discarded card is a target, put it into play. If not, destroy the, destroy the ongoing card. Though. Okay. Is that bad? Well, okay, got the pipes, but, like, whatever. We can get that back. Void Slave is mean. Are you kidding? Like, hello. Oh, oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, yeah, that's not nice, is it? Do we have any other way to get rid of uh, environment cards? We might. Probably not, but... It just clicked. That's enough out of you, Sonmar. Well, we'll do this. Oh, hey, look at that.
Yeah, if, yeah, if Sarah Bend had stuck last turn, that would have been... Oh well. Well, double cadence is bad, Team Orchid, because now we have to put one in hand, like, we can't recur them off the top. Hand top, bottom. Mm -mm. No, we can. We do one on the top, one into play. So that should be fine. That should be fine. Top. Bottom. Uh, uh, yeah, I can discard that one because I've got another one hand. And then the other one will come into play, causing me to draw that. So I'll play through that. Would be going into play. Um, I, I'm gonna roll the dice on Saraband here. Maybe maybe we can get that to stick. Probably can't, but. Uh, put that in hand. Oh, whoops. I did a thing wrong. Shoot. Ah, darn it. Shoot. I clicked wrong. Ugh, fine. I done messed up. In hand. It was this one. Top of the deck, that one. I need to read what I'm doing. Bottom of the deck, this one. Trash, this one. <laughs> Into hand. Uh, th this one. Top of the deck, this one. Bottom of the deck. That one. Trash, that one. Play that. Alright, in hand. Oh, okay. So we're gonna put this one back on top again. Uh, Alright, I forgot there's four arcane cadences. Preparation in hand? Yeah, that's fair. Um, yep. Yep, it is. Uh, I could use another instrument in hand. Stick. Yes. 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 Okay, we got it to stick. At least temporarily. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll blow up the slave. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Got a little lucky. That's what we needed. Um, so rerunning gene bound is not the worst. Uh, actually, let's read Magma's Rage. Uh, if after it deals or is dealt damage, put a token on this card. At the end of the environment turn, this card deals the non-environment target the second highest HP X fire damage where X is the number of tokens. Oh, that's ugly too. I don't like these. I don't like these void spirits. Uh, Magma's Rage, maybe. Oh, the no, the void spirit. Uh, it might be actually. No more music, I would assume so. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I could just go Chain Lightning right now. Sure, let's do it. Hit, hit that for big. Hit that for big. That's enough of both of you. Unfortunately, we're going to get some more tokens here. But we should be able to deal three more before the end of this here. Um, I can just Predator's Eye again. Or... I can Primal Charge and hit the Magma's Rage, kill that, and bite Omnitron. Seems fine. 
dead you. Dead you. That's, that's right. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so Sonvar suggested vi running Vitalized Thorns just for damage. That's fine. I can get behind that. But I also feel with her in pretty reasonable shape. Um, just taking six and hitting Omni for six isn't bad. I don't really want the seeds in the bin, though. I'd rather just dump them into the environment trash. Let's try it. Okay. Do this one at a time. Jade Estuary. Void Slave is back in the bin. Perfect. Good. Yep. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Because I, it, because it goes one at a time, I can actually see if m one of my cards is going to come up with, off the top. So, that's kind of nice. Hit, her for, or hit it for six. Uh, so somewhere in here, yeah, there's Creeping Mold and Vitalized Thorns. So, that's good. We'll throw another Thorn in there. Another Creeping Mold, fine. Healing Pollen. Zoo. Taiga Burning Bright. Increase Fire and Cold. Melee is converted to Cold. Projectile is converted to Fire. Okay, Absolute Zero likes that one. All kinds of Absolute Zero shenanigans going on there. Repair Drone. Okay. Look, it's something ig ignorable. And an Interpolation Beam is back. Uh, okay, so we got the horn. Horn does perform of a melody, a company of a harmony. That's all right, RPD. I think uh, I think we're going pretty okay here. Uh, so the horn is not the worst actually because it's a melody and harmony. So we got a harmony here. Uh, discard and draw. That's fine. We've still got a bunch of melodies. Like I'm gonna go with conjuration. I'm gonna grab the pipes back out of the bin. Uh, do I want to draw a card? Yeah, for sure. Go ahead and use that because we've got two. Uh, I can go ahead and do this, blow that up, and then a little Sherzo, which makes perfect sense here with Tiger Burning Bright. Cool. That actually worked out pretty well. Um, Gene Bound is not the worst. Then we can run out Grievous Hairstone next turn and get a bunch of damage going. Let's do that. Oh, that's sick. When I tried adapting jelly magic to something I could... <laughs> jelly magic. Um, resilient hide is fine. Okay. Okay, okay. I can run out Hyperactive Senses and see if we can screw around with the Nexus of the Void deck and maybe run some of these seeds to the top. Um, let's do that. Nexus of the Void for sure. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Screw around with Omnitron's deck too. Shifting Biodems and Elemental Awakening. Well, that's disappointing. That's disappointing. I'd rather see the subroutine on top. Flechettes just does a bunch of damage, but destroys all our ongoing, so let's... Oh, probably. Shifting Biomes. Biomes are indestructible at the end of the environment turn. Reveal cards from the environment deck until a biome... Ugh. I'd rather see that, probably. At the end of the environment to reveal it. the top three cards of the environment deck prevail. Oh. Yeah. Let's do that. 
Yeah, I know. Team Orchid. I know. Doesn't stop me rigging it for in terms of wishful thinking, right? Um, healing Pollen. Um, Mold's not bad. Let me do that. And we'll shuffle the other Thorns into the environment as well. Another Creeping Mold. Awesome. As the Earth turns. Hey, it's Gloomweaver. Wow, that's, uh... That's a fight I'd like to see. <laughs> Might have to do that one. So, Elemental Awakening. Here we go. Unfortunately, we're going to see Reclusive Keeper. Yeah, exactly. We're not we're not out of the dark yet, but because like that's bad. Uh, destroy an ongoing or environment card and discard a card. Or discard a card. Um, and when this one is destroyed, destroy an environment card or a target. Aha! All right, so we'll be able to get the the keeper out of here. We'll be able to get awakening out of here. Um, so these are actually fine. Yes. We're going to destroy the keeper. Get that out of here. Get you. Yes. Um, so apparently primordial seeds you can just put in the bin, the environment bin, which is kind of cool. Um, adaptive plating subroutine is annoying. So we'll get rid of that. Unfortunately, we're going to take our lumps off of this because Tiger Burning Bright is in play, and that's Owie. And we're going to lose a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, that's why we can do it. Okay. Alright, well, uh, that's not good. A lot of that stuff we can get back, but it's it really does a number on Argent's setup. Um, we can get this to stick, though, so might as well go ahead and do that. Just get rid of these. Yep. No, I know. I figured that out. Glad we didn't run out Grievous Hailstorm last turn. Okay. Neato. Um, so once again, we no longer have thingy. Oh, I can't do so. I can't do that. Uh, resilient hide is fine, but I guess I would just rather. I'm going to shift her strength and get two. Do I get three? Sure. Crafty Assault, Feral Fury, and Threatening Stomp. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's actually really good. Um, yeah, we'll do Threatening Stomp. Hit him for five. Seems solid. Get that croc back. And corner beast. Oh, perfect. Just like we planned it. Just like we'd planned it. As the earth turns. What does that say? Whenever a villain card would be played, she may deal herself two psychic damage. If she takes damage this way, play the top card in the environment deck instead. Start of your turn, destroy this card. Eh. Uh, is he going to play two cards this turn? No. That's next turn. So we'll give him another turn and then we'll run out that. Explosion that brings out the tree. You leave creeping mold again. Okay, there's rapid growth back. What are you gonna do? 
monster of a deck. And Eternal Timber. Reduce all damage dealt by one. I didn't see the rest. At the end of the environment turn, each target gains two hit points. Alright. I'm not gonna argue. Uh, what is going on with this? There are actually four, and one of them is... Assault Drone! Another thing we don't really care about. Oh, boy, okay. Descent Ray. That's fine. I do not care about that. Um, especially because we can Saraban the Eternal Timber. Um, once again, we've got a thing that deals with melody cards. Rhapsody. Oh, Rhapsody's actually kind of nice. Especially with the Primordial Limbs. We'll do that. Bye bye disintegration ray. And we'll gain some health. That's four. Alright, perfect. Two. Three. Four. Well, I don't care. Bulwark. Bulwark. Resilience is good. Um, not really that necessary right now, though. Downpour is solid. If we were actually planning on getting the tree here, but like I don't think we are. I'll just run out resistance. Or resilience, rather. Flash Flood. That's what I like to see. We got the Crocs, so Feral Fury. We'll just deal a bunch of damage. Cornered Beast is pretty good. I'm going to run out Cornered Beast because then you have an extra power. I can use off weird shenanigans that aren't currently in my hand. Alright, what do we got? Um... Growth. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Yes. Oh, oh, shoot, no. <laughs> Whoops. Watch me read cards. I have ideas. Had to get her stuff shuffled in there. Uh, I don't have a primordial seed, oddly, so I'm not gonna do that. One with the land is back. All right, now this is going to play... This this is what I wanted to have happen. I was trying to orchestrate this. We got Creeping Mold. That's going to hit. Unfortunately, it's going to get reduced because Eternal Timber. But that's fine. All right. Oh, EPE. Okay, that's something we actually care about. Uh, well. I have to get rid of that. Um, oh! If I blow up the pipes, I can get rid of it that way. Whoa! Bye bye. Not that I wanted to get rid of the pipes particularly, but it's fine. Uh, this thing is starting to bother me, but not enough that I don't want to just run out cleansing downpour. Nothing to worry about, Sonvar. Nothing to worry about. Crafty Assault is good. Feral Fury is good. Yeah, Feral Fury. Since we've got the Croc, might as well. And continue leveraging damage at Big Ugly. And we will bite Big Ugly. Now we gotta monkey around to the Nexus of the Void here. Oh, the Rhinoceros is in our hand now. 
Uh, one with the land is fine. When as the earth turns, uh, not. I mean, I, I can. I wish I had a way to rig that deck though. Uh, do I have any? I don't have primordial seeds in the trash right now. So I guess I'm just gonna run out one with the land again. I don't have a primordial seed to put into play, so bummer. Yeah. Is hmm. My broadcast seems fine. Try refreshing, maybe, Salvar. Yeah, thorns. Uh, now what? Wait. <coughs> 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 Oh, that's interesting. Why is it trying to destroy itself? It got played from the... Hold on. I'm going back to the the environment turn. Okay, yes. Good. Oh, did it... So that got played. It got revealed and then played. Okay, well, that's fine. Whatever. Yes, we want to move it to the environment trash. Hey, Brian the Wolf Hunt. It is going well. We are playing with Void stuff. Which is something I haven't seen yet, but it's it's a really cool deck. I'm liking it. It does seem like a glitch, Orchid, but uh, what happened was it was revealed and not... not So, like, it's, it's, it's in sort of a limbo zone. Uh, and then... It's being played out of that limbo zone. It's not actually being played off the top of the deck. I will. I will email John and have him look into that. But I think that's. I think that's how that's working. Fortunately, we're only you know like forty minutes or so into the show, so he can probably just scrub through and find it if he needs to. Um. So, this will destroy an ongoing... Uh, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, actually. I got an idea. I have ideas. Uh, you. You. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, RPD. Yeah, I don't care. It's fine. Eternal Timber will protect me. I could Flash Flood. Actually, that's probably not the worst idea here. Let's do that. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. And then hit everything for the thing. With the thing. Yes! Yes! Yep. That's what I did. Draw a card. Yeah, of course I do. What a silly question. What is? Do I want to do the best thing in the game? Hmm. I wonder. Uh, so crafty assault is extra damage. So let's get through with that. Apparently the river spirit can't handle more water. The spirit is the flood. It's fine. I'll destroy, destroy a bunch of drones. Uh, to be fair, I'm largely just dirtling here. I want to see more stuff out of Akash Thria and uh, Nexus of the Void. So I'm monkeying about. Uh, you know what? Let's go get that tree. It's two. Yeah, let's go get that tree. And these two things when they're destroyed. Also, we've got... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It just shoves it further down the river. We don't want to see you. Yes, of course we do. Uh, is there something that is good to discard? No. No. I don't really care. I don't really 
care. Uh, Dirtling. D-U-R-D-L-E. It's, uh, it means just kind of monkeying about. I think I picked that up on the Loading Ready Run channel. Yeah, I, I like the word dirtling. Uh, like, a, a, it, a, um, a lot of Magic players use it, or at least around here. Uh, it's like a big dumb dirtle. It is like something that largely doesn't impact things, but it's just kind of like a stall. Okay, EPE's back. I'm gonna have to nuke that again. Uh, do I still have something that can get rid of that? Or does it matter? Do I Can I just do 18? Uh, yes, I can. Okay, so we'll just do this again. Uh, I, I was in... Well, okay. My history with magic is... I'm not going to get into that on this show. Uh, this does a thing when it's destroyed, right? It does. Pass. Yeah, he is. Yeah, because every time you blow up uh, an instrument, that's what happens, right, Sanvar? something. Yes. Alright, so we got to see a lot of the environment stuff and a lot of... Ah, yes. Oh, wow. Okay, this is good. Um, so, what does it cost? Two... Four, six... Uh, four, um, we can just blow up the tree. Well, Akash 3 is not going to help us at all. So I'm gonna try a thing. I, yes. Okay, I have ideas. I have ideas. You get a boost. You get a boost. Yep. Okay. Fine. Uh, you get to use a power. Oh, I should've done cleansing down for. Uh, that's fine. Oh, I thought I could get there with. All right. Go to two, Omni Jerk. You don't have a damage dealing power, so that's fine. Earth's Attunement. Uh, not helpful. Okay, let's see if I can get it off. Let's see if I can hit off this. Savannah. Ember Dunes is back. Ah, darn. Thought so, but no. And we'll do this. Why not? Boo. You. There you go. Alright. Come on. Environment, do it. Kill, kill Omnitron. Tiger burning. Alright, that's fine. Yep. You do your thing. Oh, railgun. Okay, cool. Repair drone. Okay, go to four. See if that saves you. Sounds great. Supertonic, what do you do? Uh, one hero may use a power. Okay. Can I get up to shenanigans here? No. 
Bummer. Uh, Bulwark. No. I just run out of Sherzo. Actually, sh would Sherzo do it? With Taiga, yes. Sherzo will do it. Whoa. Two from you, and two from you, and yep, we still gotta get rid of that last drone. Fine, no problem. We will just go ahead and, can I do it by shenanigans? Uh, nope. Nope. That's shielding. Uh, I don't really care if I will do that. I'm gonna continue to get up to shenanigans here. Oh, here's a card. Dead you. Dead you. Yep, the repair drone was the mastermind of it all. And uh, this just makes this even more funny. A single gunshot followed by the obnoxious whirring of a helicopter. The Omnitron drones returned to being trees and birds as it's revealed that they were just manifestations of the void. Nope! Michael Conte rolls his eyes and walks the other way as Ansel G. Moreau, world famous action movie star who does all his own stunts, you know, descends from a rope ladder with his hair blowing epically. Bonjour, mes amis. It is I, Ansel G. Moreau. Yeah, we know who you are. Didn't we kick your butt like a billion times when you were a big game hunting in that foolish mask? I have no idea what you are talking about. I never wore a mask. Why hide this glorious visage? Besides, I was horribly disfigured. Ignoring the action movie star, Tempest continues. I think the island is telling us we need to get out of here. It would seem that way. She's, she seems occupied and unbothered by the void stuff. Look, she's right back to what she was doing before we before the fight broke out. Maybe we should go check on your people. Tempest makes a gesture, quite, quite literally knocking the wind out of Stuntman's sails, and the team is swept up by a gust of wind and deposited on Plavu Cole. The scene on the island is one of pure mayhem. Merenians are running every which way, and several buildings are on fire. The team looks up at each other as Ansel, G as Ansel, vo as Ansel Moreau vomits into a tide pool and springs into Axiom. So, uh, for game two here, uh, it's the appearance, it's the appearance of Ans Ansel Moreau, uh, and there's something going down on Plavu Cole, it's the Meridian Refuge, um, and the heroes, so, uh, we, we left Akashtria doing what she was doing, we have Tempest and Argent Adept and Naturalist still, um, Naturalist of course doesn't want to deal with Stuntman, but, uh, Tempest's little gust of wind did pick him up and bring him with them. Uh, the villain that they find on Plavu Cole, because this is during the Oblivion Crisis, I had a little bit of trouble com coming up with the villains uh, that made timeline sense. But uh, we don't really know what Apostate was up to. Maybe he was doing jerk stuff. So here we go. Apostate versus Argent Adept, Tempest, Naturalist, and Stuntman in the Meridian Refuge. Let's fight. We've seen a lot of apostate lately, but he's a fun fight. Uh, and then we... So, Argent Adept... Has Instrumental Conjuration, Rhapsody of Vigor, Vernal Sonata, and Jew's Bell. Uh, Tempest has Abrasive Electrical Storms and Abrasive Reclaimed from the Deeps. Uh, Naturalist has Bestial Shift, Blend into the Pack, Environmental Allies, and Feral Fury. Looks like we're going... Gazelle to start with? That's bizarre. Uh, and Stuntman has Dramatic Cliffhanger, Hidden Mine, No Time to Bleed, and The Usual Solution. Alright, well, we got Condemnation. And Tome of the Unknowable. Alright, well, uh, Tome does what? <laughs> I don't even remember. Uh, oh, it, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Um, gosh, there's not a whole lot going on here. A 
like there's really not a whole lot of stuff going on. Can I, should I just double draw? Uh, okay, actually, you know what? We'll do this. Go ahead and get, what do I, what do I have in my hand? Melody. Uh, so I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna get the pipes and we're just gonna draw a card. Oh, no we're not. Darn it. Fine. What the hell? Um, I don't have any perform texts to do, so fine. No. Storm. Storm. No. Alright. We, we need some action here. Um, I will blow up the tome, so that's fine. Shift doesn't do anything just yet. I'm convincing stuntman that he's here on Plavu Cole to introduce them to the pinnacle of human culture, his movies. I'm sure that's why he thinks he's here. Uh, yeah, let's go get the, uh... Are we just getting the gazelle here? No, we're getting... The, we're, we'll, get the, we'll get the croc. Maybe a little backwards, but it's fine. Alright, Stuntman, what the heck are you doing? The usual solution, probably. Dramatic Cliffhanger. Actually, Dramatic Cliffhanger is not bad. No time to bleed. Yeah, we'll do Dramatic Cliffhanger. Irreducible. It's good. It's very good. Violent Escalation is good. Unexpected microburst. Yep, that'll happen. And destroy a card. Yay. I got another one of these, so fine. Yes, of course we do. Draw a card first. Stylish armor. Play a card. Uh, actually... Let's do that. Beat up condemnation. We'll beat up a sword. You have insulted the Mamuvias. Oh. Oh, duh. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. Wow. Yup. Nope, you're you're absolutely right. That would have made a lot more sense. Destroy cliffhanger. We'll do it right. Is there another? There's not another one, is there? No. Uh. Oh, that's no. Fine. Whatever. Oops. I mean, we gotta we gotta hit him at some point, so. Use a power. Yeah, I'd love to use a power. Get that for irreducible damage. Take that, Condemnation. You can't reduce it. Okay. Boo. Thought I told Condemnation to get lost. Guess I didn't shout it loudly enough. card back that we wasted. I don't have a thing to use. I am going to sneeze and it's going to be awful. Not helpful. Okay, chain lightning's good. Shift. I'm 
not going to use that power. I'd like to keep that around because Feral Fury's on top. Ugh. Blech. Hit everything! Hit everything, Stuntman. Hang on one second, folks. Sorry. Storm Speaker showed up. Oh, great. Just what we needed. A gauntlet, a periapt, and the runes. Wonderful. It's exactly the card we were hoping not to see. <laughs> hold on. Sorry, I don't think you guys want to watch me blow my nose, so hold tight. <laughs> Okay, sorry. I'm being disgusting because grossness. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I need to get this into in, in play. Like, at least it gives me action. Nothing else need gain health, because it's all bad. It's all bad. Sorry, Storm Speaker. Um, I guess we can get through for two here. Ah, darn it. Fine. through to anything and <coughs> that's just gonna hit storm speaker so how about no um so feral fury is back can i get through this no can i get through that one fine get through for a couple anyway and we'll bite it again It's at one, so that means uh, Stuntman can shoot it out, which is nice. Um, dramatic cliffhangers here. Blast this into oblivion. And there's no demons in the bin, so that's awesome. We have dramatic cliffhanger up, which is really good. Softball-sized hail. What the what is wrong with these cans today? Squall Guard! Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Draw a card first. Play a card. Um, Kuvex Song. Uh, it's not irreducible, though. Um,. No, so, Hidden Mine is definitely a consideration. That's not good. Training Montage. Actually, tra Training Montage is probably good here. Ah, shush you too. Uh, yes. Medius Res. Oh. If I can out of turn play Medius Res. Hmm. 
Increase damage by uh let's let's blow up condemnation here. Could use another storm speaker, that'd be nice. Apocalypse. Um, actually, might be able to get rid of that. Let's see if I can. Ow. Uh, so Rhapsody unfortunately only has the one perform tar thing. I'm just gonna run out more instruments. We really need to draw cards, but that doesn't seem to be happening. Stuntman and Argent. I guess it's literally everybody. Uh, actually, we'll give the Storm Speaker some health back, too. That's good. So that's helpful-ish. Um, please have something that can destroy an ongoing card. Uh, yeah. Arjun is bricking hardcore. That's why I don't want to run Reclaim, so I'm just going to run Elemental Subwave. We're going to see if Stuntman can destroy an ongoing card. If not, this is bad. If not, it's bad news bears. Uh, allies, no. Cornered Beast. Oh, Periapt is reducing itself. Let's get rid of that. Vigor. Yeah, I know. There's not much setup here. And, you know, actually, uh, Hidden Mind's not bad. Immediate Res, actually. Let's see if, if, if he's in first position. That's way better. Run out the mine. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Let's do it. And we'll uh, see if we can get some of these, take some of these things with us. Uh, Periap is reducing damage, so we'll get rid of that. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we'll start with no time. Or start with um, Hidden Mine. Yes. Hit that. Kill that. Your apocalypse took out your relics too. Are you happy? Yes. I think it's just everything else here. Just double checking. Make sure there's nothing else. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Let's go ahead and hold tab here. Yeah, we ran out the mine because at least then cool stuff can happen. Squall guard's back. And... Oh, God. Profane summons. Are you kidding me? Gauntlet. Orb. God, no! You jerkosaurus! Yeah. This is going incredibly badly. We may not get through more than two games tonight. Ah, oh, God. My sinuses are driving me nuts. damage to you and you, I guess. This is ugly. This is really, really ugly.
yeah, well. Is it a whole lot of nothing? Environmental allies is good. Res not as helpful as I'd hoped it would be. If he's in the first position, then it's fine, but I always forget that. Like, if he's not in the first position here, it just doesn't do anything. I mean, it does, but it's just not as good. Okay, Launch Flum is good. Might as well run it out. Yeah, Stratosphere's great. Because I think I can clean it up with... If I can Stratosphere the Orb, I can clean it up with other stuff. Yeah, 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 no, it's, it's not nothing, but it's not great. Oh, yeah. This will just hit the Orb. Toss the runes and whale on the Orb? Yeah. It's a lightning rod. Excuse me. Sorry, Tony. Ugh. More apocalypse. Apostate is not being polite tonight. At all. I'm glad the first game ran long because, uh... What's next? Sure. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to try it. Toss the runes. And we're gonna wail. It's at five. Has he? I haven't been watching the others, admittedly. Uh, an additional power. Shift. Cornered. Predators. ideas. We're going to heal up and we're going to go get that croc back. Because now we got all green stuff. Oh, wow. So steal the scene. We'd have to wait until another of their turns. Although, eh. usual... If I, if I, I want to play that out of turn. Huh. All right. It's going to go nuts against the orb here. Try and get rid of it. Yeah. 
start here. Then we'll go... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's on top of the deck right now. Okay, the apocalypse triggers. Severely fractured fairy, fairy tales. Yeah, for sure, RPD. <laughs> and then we knew that was coming. But to be fair, like, fine. Alright, we need cards. Actually, no. We need to Rhapsody. Because we are not in a good way! We are doing dying! Stay alive, you jerks. All you jerks. I need to blow up that effigy. Oh, you know what I should have done? Is, nope, hold on. I have a better idea. Hold on, does this allow me to draw a card? Hey! Yes. Cool. So we're actually going to go ahead and reclaim. And... Grab. Is it Vernal? No. Bulwark? Uh. Onslaught. We will grab into the stratosphere. Pull out Downpour. Maybe. I, th I was gonna do that next turn. <laughs> Can Tempest. Wow, King Banhammer. Come on. Come on. Dramatic cliffhanger. Yes. That's fine. <coughs> That's fair. That's fair. Run out in Cornered Beast. We're gonna go get that croc back. Harumph! We know we're going to draw Feral Fury. Great. Usual solution. Uh, isn't going to get through. Moving target. Yeah, I'm going to run out and steal the scene. Hit it for one. There's Cliffhanger. Yeah, we got it. For when he sometimes... Yeah. Yeah, right? My apocalypse just isn't sticking! Uh, play the top card of the room and shuffle the environment trash Discard a card? Fine. Go away to the bell. And Storm Speaker. That's fine. That's fine. We like Storm Speakers. Relic Spirit. That's about right. Uh, do I want to destroy Seal the Scene? to do it the old-fashioned way. The flippy-dippy way. Cut you down to size. Oh, shoot. You know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. No.
That's the one. Then I kill it with four. Oh, darn it. I was wrong. I did it wrongly. Sorry. Right. Let me find Get that. Get that. Get that. Time to bring it home. I got it. I got it. Sort of. You. Increased damage. No, I do not want to draw a card. I'm going to hit you for five. Put you to 15. Wish I could play another card, but I can't. Hit you for four. Put you to 11. All right, stuntman. What can you do? What can you do? Dramatic cliffhanger is a... Oh. I have ideas. We might be able to get there. If I run out dramatic cliffhanger. Fire for effect. When I trigger dramatic cliffhanger, I can play in medius res, go back to his turn, possibly pull this out. It's fine. Can he get there? Can this dude get here? Yes! Yes! Yeah, the Meridians got there! I didn't even need to Immediate Res. Oh, boy. Yeah, exactly, Cytosine. Wow. That was just rude. Okay, so, uh... Yeah, well, Sonbar, I, I mean, clearly we had a plan there. Um, so, there were two ways this story could go. One was we were going to get our first look on this stream at Progeny, but that's not going to happen. Instead, a strange cackling fills the air. <laughs> you thought this was a moment's peace? This is merely the beginning. Which, of course, means... Wager Master's playing games. Uh, what does my mug say? Uh, it... It's being affectionately, affectionately known as my Cult of Bloom mug. This is spoils for, spoiled for safety. It's from uh, Good Mythical Morning. And our hero team will be exactly the same. We've got Tempest. We've got Argent. We've got Naturalist, and we have Stuntman. And we're still on Plumbicole. Yeah, from one troll to, the, to another. Um, yeah, I, I was going to bring in um, Progeny, but the because the Omnitron fight went a little bit longer than I wanted it to... Uh, I decided to to call call Wager Master. I actually in my notes over here instead of like normally I go like game two win, game two loss. Like what do I do next? Uh, it actually says game game two sh long or game two short. So if if game two, uh, if if we were long in on game two, we we fight late Wager Master. If we if if everything had gone swimmingly and everything was according to plan, uh, we we would have fought Progeny here. But uh, we we have done thinking. Now let's do not thinking. And I swear we'll get to Progeny eventually once I have more stories like this that take, you know, uh, a moment's peace stories. Alright. So this time, Argent has Instrumental Conjuration, Silver Shadow, and Abrasive Syncopated Onslaught. Looks like he's bricking again. 
Uh, Tempest has Dreambound Shackles, Abrasive Grievous Hailstorm, and a Lightning Slash. It's a card we haven't seen all day. Uh, Naturalist has Abrasive Bestial Shift, Environmental Allies, and the Nimble Gazelle. And Stuntman has Dramatic Cliffhanger, Hidden Mine, Lembuscad, and Training Montage. And I still feel like I'm going to sneeze. Alright, what are you going to play? Who are you fighting? Okay, so we can't kill him. Boo. Arcane Cadence. Ball Lightning. Threatening Stomp. And steal the scene. Now his stuff is, ir is indestructible, so... At the end of the villain turn, if each hero has an even amount... Oh, okay, it's losing the gods. <coughs> Not all he seems... Oh. Wait, they can do that? That's cool. That's neat. Alright, so... Not only seems is when he would be dealt damage, prevent that damage, and flip this card face down instead. When there are no cards in the villain deck, that you... oh, oh, is that all? And losing to the odds is everybody has to have an even number of hit points and less than their maximum. So that's usually how we win this. It's the easiest to attain. But also, if a hero is incapacitated by the new deal. We lose. So, okay, well, we'll start out normally here. Uh, we can drop this into the hand. Uh, actually, what does Polyphar do? No. Uh, actually, we'll put this in the hand put this on top no, this on top of the deck sorry I can click on the right thing need that go in the bin and we'll get that going we didn't get any wagelings so uh, okay, we're all at odd hit points right now unfortunately oh, unfortunately this is ugh, that's not helpful at all Oops. Mistakes were made. Yeah. Probably true. Probably true. I wish this uh, could hit non or could hit heroes. Something you never think you have to say, but there you are. Well, here you go. Uh, let's send that to Naturalist. Now you're even. Uh, that's not going to help. Um, that's not helpful. That is. Oh, shoot. Nope, that's not helpful at all. Whoops. That'll help. Let's do... Let's go get the rhino. Um, that's not where we want to be. That's also not where we want to be. This will work. Sure's on two heroes. Uh, no RPD, because Sure's de deals even number of damage. It's two instances of one each. No! 
No, it's so. You can, but. Oh, wait. I think. Oh, no, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you might be right. I might be able to do it anyway, though. If I do. Hang on. I'm gonna monkey about with things. Hang on. I have some ideas. I'm really monkeying about here. Wait, uh, hold on. I did that wrong. <laughs> hold on. Okay. So if I use a power, I would like to see all of us, please. He'll shoot himself in the foot. If I play a card, do training montage. Sure. Oh, okay, I see what happened. All right, fine. Whatever. Marvel is monkeying about happens. <laughs> sure. An unwise wager. Boo. attention there. So... No. Yeah, okay, RPD, you were right. My bad. I'm just gonna grab one at random here. There, one there, and then I can shoot am or stuntman in the foot, and that should do it. Should. Yes. Okay, that's fine. And I should be able to shoot stuntman in the foot. Shoot him in the foot. The foot! If everyone is even just what. Yeah, exactly. I think so. Yeah, losing to the odds. It's right there. We're doing some skip skip stuff. Here. Skip. Okay, Meridian Refuge, please be innocuous. Don't do stuff. Don't do stuff. That's fine. We can take that. It's fine. 
sure. Oh, darn it! Stupid rhino. <sighs> Stink. Alright, I'm turning to who are we fighting down, and we're gonna slam into him. Hulk smash! This isn't gonna last the way we want it to, but... Not all he seems. So... I have no idea what's going on! He's probably just gonna kill us. Alright, so currently the wind condition is not all he seems. And there's a bunch of cards in the villain deck, so whatever. Whoa. I have ideas. Stuntman. Shoot him. Flip over that thing. The, the thing that he flips over. Sure, so Fine. I've already got one. I told him we've already got one. Hit you. I mean, I can't destroy that. This isn't going to end well. My nose is randomly started running again. Not fun. Hit you. What? Oh, it's under... It's out of play. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? the usual solution. This, I guess. That is enough out of you. Steal the scene, you scene-stealing hack. Yeah, exactly, Brian the Wolf Hunt. You got it. This won't end well, but at least it won't be boring. Shuffle, 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 flip. Oh, God. All right, of course it is. All right, so now we got to flip that thing, thing over again. Oh, boy. All right. Yeah, well, at least it heals us up a little bit. That's nice. Oh, breaking the rules, of course. Ow. And Arj and okay, he's over. Corner well, I can't use cornered beast now. Draw. Draw. Uh power. Sure. Whoa. Uh Shoot Leviathan, just because he's there. Uh, play a card, sure. Uh, why don't I do this? Yeah, get that going. Draw. Draw. <coughs> yeah, it sure does. Whatever. If I can wheedle him down and then find a way to flip that, I'm going to try it. It's probably a bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh yeah, that's right, Leviathan's a mini-nemesis. 
Uh, uh. I'm just going for it. I have ideas. Shoot a thing. I have big ideas. I doubt they're going to work. That's not what I intended to play. Oops. Oh well. Okay. You've usually got cards I can discard. Playing dice with the cosmos. Yay! Now, of course, Stuntman is dead. Yep. That's different. Yep, we lost to playing dice with the cosmos. Boo! Alright. That was a mess. A disaster of shenanigan proportions. But we get to hear this cool music, so that's the thing. What's going on? <laughs> Ugh. My nose is running off my face. Wager Master is very good at the trolling. Alright, um, so if you would all... Oh, so, and of course, uh, the, the conclusion of this one shot drops us right back into the main Oblivion storyline as the team is fo forced to return to the fight immediately. Um, so there wasn't much exposition there, and I kind of like that. Uh, but for, we do have about 15 minutes for a backup story. Um, so, if you would indulge me a Freedom 5 story, just so we can kind of bring things back to normal... Um, I will happily reciprocate by uh, allowing chat to pick villains and environments. So go ahead. Some suggestions, please. Matriarch. Um, Plague Rat, I, you know I'm down with Plague Rat. That's a beat-em-up. That's straightforward. Doesn't require all that much thinking. I am on board. For sure. Uh, environment? Suggestions? Champion, Champion Studio. Alright, alright, King Banhammer, you got me. Plague Rat in Mordengrad. Yeah, let's do it. Plague Rat in Mordengrad. I love it. I love it. This makes zero sense, but let's do it. Plague Locus. Noxious Bite. Yep, that's fine. Someone gets intoxicated. Here, Bunker. You reduce damage. From the rarely aired Plague Rat Goes to Europe TV movie. Boof. <coughs> so we had our monthly Sentinels RPG game yesterday. Uh, it's a story called uh, Lunch Break. It's uh, Wraith, Bunker, and most of Daybreak. And it's awesome. They, they did a great job. <laughs> the 
Bye bye. Bye bye. There we go. My buddy Frank is, uh, he, he just started playing with us. He, he's uh, playing his bunker. And he's, he's loving it. So. King Banhammer, I am going to run the starter kit uh, on the Another Letdown channel coming up probably late spring, early summer. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm very excited. As we say, uh, RPD, you want to take this one? about finding RP people. Ten hours? Good lord! That's crazy. I don't know if I'd be able to handle that. Finding RP people is difficult, man. Yeah, I, I bet. That's insane. Yeah, clearly, man. Get some sleep. For those uh, who don't know, uh, Adam and his brother and their friend Colin uh, do a podcast called This is Difficult. And it starts right after this stream, which is, it's a live show uh, that they do on Twitch. On the Ryugami-san channel. It's a lot of fun. It's Vigi Games. Yeah. Um, let's draw cards. <coughs> Excuse me. The humming begins. Yep, here it is. So silly. Boo. Wow, Wraith is hurting. Blades army of Oompa Loompas. Currently, right out in the open. Get aggro. Bzz. Be aggressive. And the commander is here. Ow. Okay, that's fine.
There's the legacy ring. Now we're in business. That just is the business. Come on, draw me some gas. That'll do. Oompa Loompa Blade Battalion is now head cannon. Well, I guess that's what it should be, right? <coughs> Going into turret mode and firing for effect. Just go nuts here. Hit him. We got suit yourself. It's probably a good time to do it. Ugh. Battalion Command Center. Okay. And a Blade Battalion Platoon. You can't play cards. You can do damage, but it's fine. Alright. Yep, it's fine. That. Galvanize. Another motivational charge. It's as if we it's it's, it's as if the game wanted us to have that. How fantastic. that. No reason to. One. Two. And we'll discard that. We got some damage. That's good. And here we go. Black cannon. Shoot him. Heal up. Yeah. Twist the ether's fun stuff. Yeah, you're not wrong, King Banhammer. You are not wrong. There's no equipments there. This can draw us cards, though. We'll go get more of these. We'll impale him. That seems strong. And we'll go another one more turn, doing ourselves damage. We'll start healing a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Make it so he can't deal damage. That seems strong. And by jabbing him in the throat. Bring him down to 40. Another throat jab. Sweet. Just alive. Keep this pain train rolling. Uh oh. Well. Okay, that's fine. Oh dear. This is bad. Take care, King Man Hammer. Oh, we're in a spot. Here, I just thought this was going to be a... Well, alright. Motivational charge is good. Heal everybody up. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. No, no, no. We're definitely galvanizing, Cytosine. It's okay. Everything is fine. Two card plays. I can do hypersonic assault and light speed barrage, and we're in better shape. L R R fine. Take eight. <coughs> One. Two. It's 
fine. Everything is fine. We're all good here. No. Come on. Oh dear. That's good. Uh, fuel freeze. ourselves with cold damage. Gain health back. Like I said, everything is fine. We're all fine here now, thank you. How are you? We're gonna get him. I remain confident. Nothing could deal damage. So that's good. Oh, you're right. Oh darn. Can I go? Can I get back that far? No, nope, not quite. Bummer. Nice catch, RPD. Sorry about that. I did. Yeah, you're right. It's okay. It's okay. Fine. Fine, fine. Everything's fine. We're all fine here now. Everybody draw cards, please. That's fine. Well, Bunker can't, but whatever. Yeah, no, we're fine. We, we can do this. We can get through for 12. Some new meaning of the word fine, of which I was pre previously unaware. Yeah, happens. Oops. Nimble, uh... Actually. I'm just hitting everything. Hit everything. Fire for effect. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I do recall that. Hit that. Fine, fine. Uh, the, sure. It's not going to happen, but... Yeah, we don't need that. Sonic and no we're gonna shoot him sorry legacy you may not be able to do that but you can shoot him dead shoot him dead he's dead we got him we got him he's dead we got him. we're all fine here now it's all good. It's all good. So, I hope everybody enjoyed tonight's broadcast of Tales from the Archive here on the Handle Arbor Games channel. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share our channel on social media and in person. You can follow Handle Arbor on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, as well as Handle Arbor Games here on Twitch. If you want to see some more content from me, including the adjacent Hex podcast and the occasional sketch comedy video, facebook.com forward slash another letdown is the place to be for that. If you have story submissions for me to tackle or just want to say hi, hit me up on Twitter. My name is at D-E-N-O-N-C-Z-D. I also do live streams of other video games on my own team's Twitch channel. That's twitch.tv forward slash another letdown. Zach Sucks at Games broadcasts on Thursday nights at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Give us a follow and you can catch, us play, catch me playing uh, Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past as well as occasionally the Grand Tour game. Um, I've also got my annual NHL 94 stream coming up very soon. Uh, and we'll also see the return of Zack and Alex gear up probably later in the summer. I also mentioned that we are going to be streaming the Sentinel Comics RPG Starter Kit uh, very soon, as soon as I can get that all worked out. Uh, so lots of good stuff coming there. 
Sentinels of the Multiverse is currently available for iOS, Android, and PC, Mac, and Linux via Steam, as well as in good old-fashioned cardboard and ink. You can get the game and more information at sentinelsdigital.com. Um, so next week is going to be the Guys Kills the Multiverse story. We'll see how that goes, because we'll have Oblivion content fully available to us. Um, so look forward to that, and that will broadcast at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this channel. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Have a wonderful rest of your St. Patrick's Day, and I will talk to you next week.